the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. By his grace, you know, if, if people just understand, this is freely given. You don't have to, we're being justified freely by his, his grace. And here's the scripture that goes with it, brother. If you want to start off for us here, uh, Romans 3, 21 to 27. Okay. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. Yes. Yes. By the law and the prophets. <laughs> Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and uh -uh. upon them that believe. Yes. There's no difference. None. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Come on. Be justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Yes. Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through the faith in his blood. Yes. To declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past. Yes. Through the forbearance of God. Yes. To declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, his righteousness, that he might be just yes. and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Yes, where is boasting then? It has no part. <laughs> it is excluded. Yes. By what law? <laughs> of what? No. Uh -uh. But by the law of faith. Yes. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. And see, that is what I want to make sure that anybody is listening today. Listen, it's not by your works. It's not by the law. It's not by the boasting of your flesh. It doesn't matter whether you're white or black or brown. It doesn't matter whether you're Jew or Gentile. It is by faith that God has given us this free gift. And that's what I like about that. Everybody likes that free anyway, right? Well, this free gift is coming to us through the grace and redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Now, I think, Brother Allison, the reason sometimes we people want to bring the law in is they, they some of them hearing that you're supposed to, you know, that's what we talked about before in Romans. And Paul talked about people, people thinking that that means you're supposed to steal it. So you can go out and do, do bad things. You can continue on with your sinful ways and all that stuff. And, and that is not what the grace is talking about. The grace is saying is, look, despite the fact that all you have sinned and come short of the glory of God, I freely give you this access. And then I think that scripture we read before is, I need you to come as a child so that you can get your cup filled with the kingdom principle, the kingdom way of living. It's, 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 he's trying to tell us, look, nobody earned this coming in, but I do need you to change. Because that word you said, that, that scripture we read before, I do need you to be converted so that you can start moving and operating in the kingdom's way of living. You're in a new kingdom, right? Mm. Yeah, and we didn't understand, you're in a new kingdom. And if you're in a new kingdom, you need to start walking that way. We lost Jimmy. <laughs> the kingdom's principle. This, what, what, what do you get out of that script we just read there, man? What, what else do you see out of that? Because- All I see is, <laughs> I just see the grace of God. That's all I, that's I, I all see, he wants you to see. I see the fulfillment of the law and I see the ushering in of a new covenant. Yes. I see yes. that it is all about Ooh. the word of God. It is, man. And the renewing of the mind because the conclusion says so. Romans 3.28, 28, 
Therefore, we conclude Come on. that a man is justified by faith <laughs> without the deeds of the law. So, <laughs> understand that if you're justified by faith, then what is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So, if that's what faith is, then how do you get faith? Come on. Well, by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Ah, so yes. It is the word of God. So you are justified by the word of God, not by the deeds of the law. Woo! Let me get the, I'm a, Man, that's 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 what I'm trying to say. I agree with you. And, and that's what we want people to understand. See, look, my saying is some people get ran off though, but as it because the only way you can call somebody to 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 not be convinced is because you try to tell them they didn't meet all the objectives. You know that? Yeah. You you you're trying to say, well, you well, yet it was freely given to you, but but you 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 uh you keep missing the mark, so you you uh you're not there yet. You're not you're not there. You you uh how can you you know I like it some people say like well how can you be saved if look look they brought in politics how can you be saved if you're a Republican or how can you be saved if you're a Democrat? You know they they bring in all these conditions. They they challenge you and. And you sitting there saying, wait a minute, because you know what now? Hey, brother, ask it. Here's something for the people listening to this video. Tell me if I'm wrong. When they ask you a question such as, I mean, if they bring it from politics, they bring it from race, or they bring it from anything, and they said, brother, ask, how can you be saved if if you voted for Obama, right? You know, I, I think we should start now saying, telling people from this, uh, on this video, is this, it's freely given to me. That's how I'm saying. It was well, really it has nothing to do with the yes. <laughs> I, 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 this, here we go back to being there. You know, how, can you convince me <laughs> that I'm married or convince me that I'm not? Ooh. You know, uh, it has nothing to do with the kingdom of God. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing to do. Nothing it's to do with that. You're, you're, you're talking about a government <laughs> versus a kingdom. Woo! Come on! You're talking about come on. something that has very little concern to me. Woo! Come on! Come on! Come and on! My decisions about this government <laughs> is to make it easier for me Woo. to advance my kingdom yes sir that, yes. that's that's what my decisions are based on uh -huh. my choice is about this government is to make it easier to advance my kingdom Woo. because i am an ambassador and all i do uh -huh. Uh -huh. is give the information yes that my king has me to give yes <laughs> So yeah. my my king decrees it. Come on, I believe it happens. There you go, there you go. Not by my power, <laughs> but the power that's in me that's been given me through His Son Jesus Christ. Come on now. And as long as I know that it has nothing to do with me, and I keep hiring out of it. Come on now. Then my life here is kingdom minded. <laughs> it is kingdom. Ordained, it is kingdom funded. Yes. <laughs> and 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 that's it. And I'm and you know I just give God thanks mm. that He is really bringing that to bear in my Woo. life. My decisions yes. are 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 becoming more and more His decisions. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So when when Myron begins to react, uh -huh. I can respond. Woo. The Holy Spirit is is beginning to have His way. His way. More than Myron is. Come and, on and, now. And it's not 
in it, and don't get it twisted. It's nope. not by Myron. Nope. It just really has nothing to do. It is only by faith. Because by faith. I am just believing. Yes. I'm believing God's word. And the more I, I, I get into it, the more it stays with me, the yes. more the more seeds that are planted, the yes. bigger the garden, yes. the bigger the harvest. Come on now. It's what it's, it's, it goes back to what he did even when he was tempted by the devil. It is written. Yeah. See? Yeah. It is written that I was freely given this salvation. It's freely written that way. So don't you come to me and tell me about, you know, hey, I love one thing about a little kid. You remember this one thing about a little kid? You can use it right. with your son. Remember this? When he said this, mine, mine, mine. Remember you try to try to take it away from him? Mine. Mine. It's mine. Right? Did your child do that? Oh, my child didn't know how to share nothing he had. He said mine, right? It's mine. I mean, <laughs> he, he had a revelation. Are y'all hearing the words that come out of my mouth? He, a, a child's sister had clearly been able to say mine. This is mine, right? But see, look, for you as a believer, as you as a child of God, this is yours. It's yours. Nobody can take it from you. Don't let nobody try to say, look, don't worry about me. It's mine. I got the salvation from him. It's mine. You can't take it. It's mine. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, man, I think I may make a title one of my title slides about that. It's mine. <laughs> this, this gift. This gift is freely given to me. And it doesn't matter what you think. And I think even when we were talking about this, when I was talking, when you were talking about, about I, I, you know, my response based on conversation was, I'm not getting into the business or determine whether somebody is a false convert. That is not, I don't even know if that's even in the dog or part. Is that in the Bible? What's that? False convert. That, that's that's not even in there. Is it? I don't know about false convert, but I do know, like I said earlier, that Paul said, if they believe anything else, they're bewitched. <laughs> you bewitched, right? Yeah, in right. In the Galatians, in fact, that who bewitched you to go back to yeah. the law? To the law. Right. He said, he said, "What you you've been given this." Why are you going to go back to the law? The law didn't give it to you. The law couldn't give it to you. You couldn't earn it. So you just, well, you better take it free. You know, and I guarantee you, somebody give you money freely, you ain't going to take, you ain't going to give it, give it away. You say, why you got this money? Because it's freely given to me. It gave, they gave it to me, you know? Uh, and that's what all those scriptures was talking about. The fact is that this, is 24 being freely justified i've been justified freely through jesus christ i see i don't you you know what brother I you don't really have to answer nobody he says written i've been justified why are you asking me a question i've been justified not by me but by him you know what i mean yeah. i'm declared righteous not by him i don't need to i mean not by you I've been justified by him. I don't need to justify to you why I'm righteous. Everybody listen, you, if you come into the body of Christ, you don't have to justify nothing to anybody because it's been given justified by Jesus Christ. Only thing you need to do, just like they need to do, because all is sin. Is that what that scripture says, 23? For all is sin, it comes short of the glory of God. So we all, everybody has sinned. So don't come to me about what I'm sinning. Come to me about what I'm converting, what I'm growing. But I've been justified. And how I grow, my pace of growth may be different from your pace of growth. Right? I mean, that, that's the whole point is don't, don't justify, don't look at me based on where I am. Think about by faith where I'm going. And the same thing about you is where you're going. You're supposed to be moving from glory to glory to glory. And that pace is based on each individual. That's what's critical. You know what I mean? 
it's critical for us as believers to one another. That's why he said love one another. And because you got to have that grace that's given to you, you got to give it to the other person. But you know, when they heard the scriptures, that's what Romans was talking about. Paul was saying that some people thinking that we're telling people to keep sinning. Dude, all y'all have sinned to come show under the blood of God. He's not telling you to keep on sinning. He's telling you to keep on growing in the things of God. And if you keep growing, you'll mature. And then you do, what's that scripture said? When I was a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put childish things away. But you got to move from babe, just that scripture we had read earlier, right? You got to come as a child. And what about a child? Your, the, the, the son you got now used to, and the children that you have as well, they used to stink of themselves, pee in themselves, get dirty, make a mess of themselves, <laughs> you know. And, and I think people don't understand that that's how a child, we forget what a child's supposed to be, I guess. So, so, so remind people, come as a child, which is what we just read, and then receive the gift to keep growing, or the grace to keep going, right? Yeah. And I think that that covers the gospel. I think it, I think it covers the gospel. If I if I got a, the the last scripture I have for you, let me bring this one up for you. Then I'll just see what you think about it. Oh, excuse me. Here it is. Go ahead. What you about this? What is this? Okay, First Corinthians two eleven. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of a man which is in him? Mm -hmm. Let me reread that. For what man knoweth the things of a, of a man? Uh-huh. So the of the man which is in him? Yeah, all of these people know what's in you. God knows no man, but the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. Yes. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Yes. Which things also we speak, not yes. in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, uh -huh. concerning spiritual things which spiritual. Uh huh. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, nope. for they are foolish unto him. Yes. Neither do you know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Yes. But he that is spiritual judges all things. That he himself is judge of no man. No man. That's power. Yeah, no man. So who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. And 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 that's that's I like the part about judge of no man. I, right. I mean, I want that that that's it's a powerful statement always from the beginning, and and but I want to be able to sit there and make people understand. Don't let people convince you you're not saved because they are not your judge. Don't let people be the judge. Let Christ be who he is and will bless you. We don't get guilt. We we'll let people guilt you out of the gospel or out of the kingdom. You are look. I'm convinced I'm a I'm an American. I'm a United States. I'm a citizen. I am convinced. I am fully convinced that I'm a citizen of the United States. Fully. I'm fully persuaded. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't have to justify to nobody. I don't need to bring out. I, you know, somebody may want my papers if they want to look for them. But if they if they don't have them, I'm still gonna say I'm an American. What do you think I am? You tell me if I'm something else other than American, right? Well, you fully in a citizen of the kingdom of God and no man can justify or judge you to be not in the kingdom, not saved. You are saved because of Christ. You're never gonna be saved by people because people can't put you in and they can't take you out. You are set in the kingdom, not by the color of your skin, not by your, your origin, where you came from, but by Jesus Christ. If we can get people to get that, 
And then, like I said, uh, the, the piece you were stuck on in the beginning, I, I think you got it now. The fact is, I can't judge your spirit from my perspective. I'm saying, for what man knows the things of man? Save the spirit of man, which is where? In him. I can't judge what you say. You know why? I can't. Can you? Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna get into the business and, and your know, business, that's all I was trying to say. I'm not, I don't wanna get into the business of, of, of whether somebody is false converted. I, 